Uh, I feel like I'm prepped for robbing a bank rather than going to a UPS store. That's terrible. Oh my goodness, come on. Focus on me. Hmm? Focus. Are you focused? So here I am at, let's see if I can get it in a shot. At the, oh, come on, focus. Oh, at the UPS store. Oh, focus on that, please. Still learning how this camera works, but this seemed like a good stop. All right, there's the store. All right, so I'm gonna go and return some stuff I bought. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, back home. Mission accomplished. Okay, the crop on the sensor is severe. All right. Hey, with the camera this far away, that's not bad. Okay, makes it a lot easier not to be able to see the screen, but um, this isn't that bad. So because of the size of the camera, because the lens is a 24 to 105 millimeter and the sensor crops to 1.6, that equates to 38 millimeters. That's why it seems so massively cropped. Okay, how's that? Can you see me? Yeah, you're focusing on me. Now, if I was shooting in 1080p, this wouldn't be an issue because it wouldn't crop it at all and it would be 24 millimeters, which is a little bit tighter than I usually would do. With the SL, I generally shot at 18 millimeters. So when the adapter ring comes, I'm gonna try it out with this lens to see what 18 millimeter looks like. That's 28.8 millimeters. All right, so it's still gonna be a lot tighter than I'm used to, but it's a lot better than, than this. Hmm. I just realized I forgot to turn on my light. I should probably turn the light on first. <laughs> Okay, now the light's on. And now let's switch it to Misty Rose. How's that? Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so if I position, oh. Oh, that's an interesting look. Hmm. All right, cool. I have a halo. <laughs> I have a halo. <laughs> okay, so seeing as I have a halo now. All right, let's change that up a little. Okay. I'm gonna have to see what that looks like. It looks kind of interesting on a little display, but I don't know what that really looks like. What is all that noise? I think that's, that's Emma out on the balcony. Wow, I don't think I can shoot anything with that going on. I think I'll push this out for a little bit. Okay, so first time trying to vlog with the new camera and the new ND filter. I think we're going to try out the uh, the R a little bit today, see how it does. It's a little bit hard to do with this big lens in 4K though. All right. I also want to test out how stable it is while moving around. Seems pretty good. All right, so switching hands worked out. And turn around. That's good. And... All right, let's go and see what it does if I move into the shadows. All right. You really have to hold this thing out far. I'm gonna need a different lens. Yeah, I am trying out my new EOS RP out in the real world, as real as it gets, right? So, 
this lens is a little bit difficult to vlog with because I have to stretch out my arm completely just to get this shot right now. It's very tight and at this crop that means you guys are right up in my face. But the quality looks really really nice. Looks a little dark right there actually. It's okay. I can live with that. Uh, quality is really nice. It's gonna kill my arm to hold it like this though. If I switched it to 1080p, that probably would solve the problem. But I really wanna shoot in 4K. That was one of the reasons for getting this camera. So I think um, a lens that's a little more capable is probably what I'm gonna need to do. Hey Emma. All right, guys, you may have noticed I was having a little trouble with the autofocus. The camera just wasn't focusing at all. In 4K, it was so slow that usually I didn't get the focus in until I was halfway through what I was wanting to say to you guys. In 1080p, at first it seemed okay, but then it started to deteriorate there as well. So by the end of the day, it got to the point where I had to manually focus everything to get anything in focus. Um, you can tell in the, in the UPS shot, that was this morning, you can tell that there just wasn't any real focus going on. It was very soft. I couldn't get the UPS store sign in focus. Then it did focus okay on my face when I was vlogging, but that was about it. At lunchtime when I took the camera outside, it seemed to be a little bit better. I had a pretty decent focus on my face. Everything seemed to go okay. When I got the footage back inside, I realized that anytime I changed the camera to a different position, the focus didn't catch up, it didn't do anything. I tested it this evening some more and I just couldn't get the autofocus to work properly. No matter what settings I put on the camera, no matter what I did, it just refused to focus. At the end of the day, I had to manually focus every shot. Right now, I manually focused this shot just to get this part into the video. So I ended up logging back on to Amazon and I actually ended up exchanging this camera. So a new one's coming. It'll be here on Saturday. The next vlog you see is going to be with the new camera. Hopefully that will resolve the issue. I don't know if it's the camera or the lens, but something isn't working right. So guys, I could really use your help. Go ahead and like this video, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and ring the bell to be notified about any future uploads. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze ray. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze ray. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze ray. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze ray. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze Probably gonna cut this part out. Maybe this will get into the blooper reel. All right, let's see if this worked out at all. Uh, I feel like I'm prepped for robbing a bank rather than going to a UPS store. So, there you have it. <laughs> uh, I was good, I wore my mask, yeah? Oh, that's terrible. Oh my goodness, come on, focus on me. <clears throat> Eventually, um, I called up the... So eventually I logged on and um, I was just not... It, it... So as the day went on, the lens or... Uh... So as the day went on, the focus became harder and harder to get any... As the day went on, it became harder and harder to get the focus to respond in any way, shape, or form. By the end of the day, it wasn't focusing on anything and there was nothing I could do. All I could do was manually focus the camera. That just isn't acceptable for a $1,000 body and a $400 lens, right? So I ended up going on to Amazon and returning the camera. It jumped me on into a conversation with the guy and instead of returning it directly. And what I ended up doing is I ordered an exchange for it. So I think there might be something wrong with this particular camera because I couldn't get the autofocus to work at all. Um, so it's going back. I'm getting a brand new one on Saturday, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my goodness, come on. Focus on me. Hmm? Focus. 
Are you focused? I can't tell. Yeah, 